How good are you at distracting yourself from what you should be doing? No, honestly, I don't want you to just sit there and say, oh, Mike's asking another annoying question. He does that. He's good at that. But no, the serious question is, how good are you at distracting yourself? I actually have a poster on my desk in the office, ask anybody else who works with me, that says, stop looking for ways to distract yourself. Now, we do that all of the time. We'll be busy writing an email and something will just pop into our minds. There's another speaker I know who uses the phrase cosmic facts. Yeah, these things that just sort of fly in, pop in, bing, and distract you. So that flow that you had going is broken because you've been looking for other things to do in your mind to distract you from the core purpose, what you needed to be doing. Now, whether you work in a large office or you work independently is, is, is neither here nor there. We all have ways of distracting ourselves and being distracted by other people. The challenge for you is how not to do it, how to work with it, how to prevent it. In my days in the corporate world, I remember working from home, I'd achieve as much in three hours as I might in a whole day in the office surrounded by other people. In contrast, if you work from home nowadays, how often do you actually spend three hours having a lunch break followed by an uh, Abbott and Costello film or something you recorded last night on Sky? Uh, and then eventually you go back to the office, but you're still working on the computer at 11 o'clock at night. This is about the law of distraction. Realize when you are distracting yourself and put safeguards in place to stop it from happening. It's as simple as that. Stop distracting yourself, you'll become more effective. Thank you as always for watching this. Please forward to your friends and colleagues. It only goes out fortnightly, so it's worth watching. Thank you very much.